pretty nice bathroom. I mean, I don't like the toilet. And she's just stepping on the toilet like, I said, if you don't like it, I'll break it for you. Jeez. Um, well, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um. All right, Adela. Deep breath. <sighs> oh, God. Looks like things are going well. I'm just great. Grand, really. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Executed. Where to start? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock, and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? All time. All, all time. All time. All, all time. Something went wrong. You get it then. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. That is really terrible. It's even worse. Oh, okay. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop <laughs> and claim your Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? You are the best! This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, best offense. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. Payday is always yes. a good day. Oh, okay. You here for commerce? Or another board tourist. No, I'm here to buy. Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. No haggling. The price is the price. Oh. And might be some other rules. Don't be an ass. Then we won't have any problems. If you need weapons, the best defense is the only place in town. You may be thinking this place is a dump, but the hardware isn't. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. Okay, let, let that's me what see for. what you got. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh yeah, we'll take, we'll take, yeah, 45. Anything good? Right. Well, I got some more ammo. Not a lot, but some more. Hey, I got my, I got plenty of pistol ammo now. We'd be dust, except for the fact. Which is nice. Made it. 
Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Uh, hold on, everybody. I got to head off. Um, uh, hold on, everybody. I got to... Camera and mic for just a couple minutes, but, um... Camera and mic for I'll still be in game, so don't worry about that. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. I'm guessing the Marshal already told you this, but I'll say it anyway. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile him up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. I can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. Sorry about that, everyone. Okay. Awful workers. Nothing As could ever parts, come from them. We could try outsourcing. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Uh, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea. Hmm. Provided we got a good deal. And a I fair deal. A fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for, for welfare. Everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Virgin. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm. You know, you trying to do right by the universe, that's, that's noble. Yeah, I would say so. Alright, let's chit in or chat. Let's, uh... Sarah's like, look, I'm tired of standing. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. <sighs> Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. I found it. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. Yes, I, I know. want the thief found. And prosecute it to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. Won't be nice. I'm not certain why you choose to back this free star elitist snob. 
But that's your choice. I'll back your play, but I don't have to like it. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Yeah, I didn't like it either. Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me, what does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but yeah, I don't like it either. answer whatever questions I can. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, <coughs> I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Anybody report the theft? Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. I think we're done. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men women and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof. What if I feel like he has something to do with it's a responsibility uh, that I take the theft. Very That's serious. what I'm thinking. If word gets out about the stolen ship my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I'm pretty sure. I can't allow that. Well, heavy is the head that wears the crown. <laughs> I'm sure the burden of responsibility for your workers is an inconvenience, Mr. Hope. But the deputy has responsibilities as well. Despite what you think, I have great respect for the badge and the difficult choices that come with it. But my primary concern is for the welfare of my people. I hope so. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A hmm. breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on Yeah, I'm, I'm not discreet. Hey, can I get a word? Um, you know. We're gonna we're gonna follow this until it, it That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Enough to go on. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But 
but Neon's a different kind of place. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. You're welcome. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Alright, let's go to Neon. Into the knee. who couldn't make it in the planters end up working at the fisheries in Neon. Okay. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? Make your price. The one and only. Well, the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Yes. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. Yeah, about that. Yeah. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. I'm gonna look in every dark corner. Law enforcement isn't exactly welcome in Neon, but that shouldn't deter you from your duty. Ah, rookies. I'm proud of you. Without duty and honor, you'd have nothing left. That's right. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and <laughs> keeps an eye on ship traffic goose? for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. This is Neon. There are no guarantees, and who I find trustworthy changes on a daily basis. Talk to him or don't. It's your call. All right. Come on. Wait, you got any goods in here? Wait. Something for the effort, like a book or, you know, you know anything? It's, oh, there we go. There you go. See now, see then that that's hospitality right there. Let me tell you, that's that's a that's a nice thing right there. This game does have a lot of good gems in it. Very nice. That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. I learned quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. 
No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool, having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they Right in the middle of the set, in this dialogue. Just like, look, I'm done. Like, oh. I need to impress that upon you. Because the fact that you think justice is absolute concerns me, Deputy. It's never that simple. Justice can mean different things to different people. And laws can be interpreted yeah, by lawmakers, not by police. The ranger relies on judgment and intuition to do what's best well, that's for true the too. Peace officers do have discretion. In some things. Other things, it's pretty cut and dry. Where are you taking me? Good for you. Hey, Billy. You got a second? Oh. What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Huh. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? I suppose we shouldn't be surprised that he's asking for something in return. Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you can do for me. If he won't even accept credits, I worry about what he's going to ask us to do. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. <laughs> he says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. Well, that's terrible. You <laughs> shouldn't be responsible for your brother's I death. got these cheeseburgers. Yeah. Well, tell that to Goodman because he doesn't seem to care. He just wants his money. Uh -huh. I swear it on my best set of riches. <coughs> yeah, and we're not going to be gentle with the syndicate because they could be doing this to somebody it's else later on. on. So we're going to go in. guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Well, and, and I'm gonna go put a stop to their syndicate ways. Not with that gun, with this gun. Oh, that's. I Man, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, they don't care about the law so much. Then uh, I don't feel bad for shooting them in the face. Now that's some creeps. I go in here. Look at that bad boy. Man, 
man. Remind me not to fall in those waters, man. Look at those things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say it was, uh... <laughs> yeah. What are y'all staring at this shipyard? It's still remarkable to me that we started on another planet. Yeah. Oh, tell me you're... Yeah, okay, I'm about to say. This is private property. Indicate case. All right, we're right at break time. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take our break before we go ahead and start this. Um, and that way we can just kind of see it through. So uh, let's get out, let's, blah, blah, let's learn how to speak English first. Uh, and then we're gonna get up, uh, use the bathroom, grab something to drink, do what you gotta do, and uh, we'll be back in five, everybody. See you then. <laughs> 